In this 5 minutes video, you'll find the top 10 must visit attractions for your Paris trip. Let's start with number 1. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris. It is named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. Constructed from 1887 to 1889 as the entrance to the 1889 World's Fair, it was initially criticized by some of France's leading artists and intellectuals for its design, but it has become a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited paid monument in the world, 6.91 million people ascended it in 2015. The Lure Museum, is the world's largest art museum and a historic monument in Paris. A central landmark of the city, it is located on the right bank of the Seine in the city's first arrondissement. Approximately 38,000 objects from prehistory to the 21st century are exhibited over an area of 72,735 square meters. In 2019, the Louvre received 9.6 million visitors, making it the most visited museum in the world. Musée d'Orsay is a museum in Paris, on the left bank of the Seine. It is housed in the former Gare d'Orsay, a Beaux-Arts railway station built between 1898 and 1900. The museum holds mainly French art dating from 1848 to 1914, including paintings, sculptures, furniture, and photography. It houses the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist masterpieces in the world, by painters including Monet, Manet, Degas, Renoir, Cézanne, Seurat, Sisley, Gauguin, and Van Gogh. Many of these works were held at the Galerie Nationale du Jeu de Pont prior to the museum's opening in 1986. It is one of the largest art museums in Europe. Musée d'Orsay had more than 3.6 million visitors in 2019. Notre Dame de Paris, referred to simply as Notre Dame, is a medieval Catholic cathedral on the Ile de la Cité in the 4th arrondissement of Paris. The cathedral was consecrated to the Virgin Mary and considered to be one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. Its pioneering use of the rib vault and flying buttress, its enormous and colorful rose windows, as well as the naturalism and abundance of its sculptural decoration set it apart from the earlier Romanesque style. Major components that made Notre Dame stand out include one of the world's largest organs and its immense church bells. The Palace of Versailles was the principal royal residence of France from 1682, under Louis XIV, until the start of the French Revolution in 1789, under Louis XVI. It is located in the department of Yvelin, in the region of Ile de France, about 20 kilometers southwest of the center of Paris. In 2017 the Palace of Versailles received 7,700,000 visitors, making it the second most visited monument in the Ile de France region, just behind the Louvre and ahead of the Eiffel Tower. Montmartre is a large hill in Paris's 18th arrondissement. It is 130 meters high and gives its name to the surrounding district, part of the right bank in the northern section of the city. The historic district established by the city of Paris in 1995. Montmartre is primarily known for its artistic history, the white domed basilica of the Sacré-Cœur on its summit, and as a nightclub district. The catacombs of Paris are underground ossuaries in Paris, which hold the remains of more than 6 million people in a small part of a tunnel network built to consolidate Paris' ancient stone quarries. Extending south from the Barrière d'Enfer former city gate, this ossuary was created as part of the effort to eliminate the city's overflowing cemeteries. The Avenue des Champs-Élysées is an avenue in the 8th arrondissement of Paris, 1.9 kilometers long and 70 meters wide, running between the Place de la Concorde and the Place Charles de Gaulle, where the Arc de Triomphe is located. It is known for its theaters, cafes, and luxury shops for the annual Bastille Day Military Parade, and as the finish of the Tour de France cycle race. The Arc de Triomphe de l'Étoile is one of the most famous monuments in Paris, standing at the western end of the Champs-Élysées at the center of Place Charles de Gaulle, formerly named Place de l'Étoile, the Étoile or Star of the Juncture formed by its 12 radiating avenues. 
The Arc de Triomphe honors those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars, with the names of all French victories and generals inscribed on its inner and outer surfaces. Beneath its vault lies the tomb of the unknown soldier from World War I. The Tour Montparnasse is a 210-meter office skyscraper located in the Montparnasse area of Paris. Constructed from 1969 to 1973, it was the tallest skyscraper in France until 2011, when it was surpassed by the 231-meter Tour First. It remains the tallest building in Paris outside of the La Défense business district. This is a really good place to see the Paris skyline particularly as you can see both the Eiffel Tower and Sacré-Cœur neither of which you can see as well from the Eiffel Tower.